rules are made to be broken. Your end approaches. Existence is unity. All will be swept away by the wind. be swept away by the wind. swept away by the wind. Ha! Rules are made to be broken. away by the wind. Yeah. Uh. 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 
your end approaches. Existence is unity. All will be swept away by the wind. Let's make it quick. All will be swept away by the wind. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken.
Rules are made to be broken. swept away by the wind. Take a rest. It's time for tea and cakes. Not bad. You've made it this far, Miss March. Oh! Ha! I told you! <laughs> With your... Yeah. But... Look at... Yeah! Those experiences... That... Actually... Now... I'd love to... <laughs> Let's do it! I already have an idea! I remember Yen Qing once said, There are many ways to defeat villains. But if you want to become a true hero, you have to focus on self-improvement. Do you feel any closer to becoming the great hero you've always dreamed of? Ah, oh, yes, absolutely! The great hero within me is definitely up to the task. You two, we heard that Scott sent you a challenge. 
So we were wondering if there's anything we can do to help you defeat him. Oh, thanks, Wahwa. You've already been a huge help by teaching me how to use the exercising tools. Even though I've only been learning swordplay for a short time, I'm confident I can take down the IPC next. Uh, don't mention it. It's actually me who should be thanking you, March. But seriously, didn't she kick Scott's butt already? So why is she back again? Don't humans ever learn from their mistakes? No, no, Mr. Tail. There's a saying. Revenge is a dish best served cold. But Scott hardly has any patience. He couldn't resist the temptation to get back at us. Still, if that's how I beat him, it'd be a little less satisfying. Hmm, actually... I have no idea. I get it. Some people never learn, no matter how many times you knock them down. They'll never admit defeat or learn anything. So, uh, how do we get him to admit defeat? Listen, kid, I'm not trying to rag on you, but you're always playing into Scott's hands with your approach. He set up these rules for a fight between his mechs and your sword, and you agree. Then he laid out what to do if you win or lose, and you agreed again. It's basically just another one of Scott's organized sports events, and it's not even fun if you win! Catchphrases to me. I'm a Heliobus, and I've got a few tricks up my sleeve. Just remove my seal, Wawa. <laughs> What's the harm? As long as you don't go snitching to that ghosty, we won't run into any trouble. Oh, just wait and see. I'll make Scott change his mind and admit defeat wholeheartedly. What do you say? Oh, you're awesome, Mr. Tail. Well, well, if it isn't our hero, March 7th. Hmm. I'm not hiding or backing down. You challenged me, and I'm here to accept it. We're here to fight. What's wrong with you people? Sending me a threatening letter? Who are you trying to scare? A threatening letter? What are you even talking about? Oh, stop playing dumb. Can you slip this into my pocket? Uh, Mr. Scott, a great center of arrogance and insolence. You have inflicted your twisted lust for power upon that innocent shop owner and insulted the extraordinary art of Sienjo swordplay. We have decided to make you confess all your crimes in person. The time for change is now. Your twisted desires will be stripped away by us? The writing is terrible. I wouldn't have understood it if you hadn't just read it to me. What the heck did you just say? Hey, who said that? Uh, no, uh, no one said anything. You must have imagined it. Well, enough for chit chat. March 7th, I'm going to make you bark. 
didn't even see her draw her sword. Time seemed to freeze, and all I saw was a flash of green fire. In an instant, I remembered staring out at the sea as a child, glimpsing a faint green light through the thick fog, which turned out to be the home of that girl, Rakshmi. Seriously, who lights a green lantern in their house? Those guys must be nuts. Ah, why am I suddenly remembering these things? Is my life flashing before my eyes? Am I dead? Hmm, looks like this is Scott's mind. I'd better find where his most twisted desires are lurking. Scott, get your butt over here. This guy looks just like his old man. Humans spent decades trying to heal their childhood traumas, and Scott might be no different. <sighs> What's with all the yelling on the weekend, Dad? I was sleeping. Sleeping? How many times do I have to tell you? Do credit sleep? Does the free market sleep? Does the invisible hand sleep? Forget it, we'll discuss this later. Pafana's parents came by earlier. They heard about Pafana breaking his leg while playing Sky Dart, and they found out that you carried him to the hospital. So they decided to visit the father of their son's best friend. So, Scott was kind-hearted as a kid. You idiot! Aren't you and Pafana competing for the captain position on the Sky Dart team? Why are you befriending your own rival? And you even carried him to the hospital? <laughs> You're such a caring guy, aren't you? Lyndon Scott, how many times have I told you that our Scott family crest is the Lone Wolf, and our family motto is no enemies, no friends, only prey? Would you carry your prey to the hospital? Well, little Scott was pretty unfortunate to be born into such a family. But... Dad, I broke his leg on purpose. If I hadn't taken him to the hospital, others would have suspected me. Wait, what? Ah, oh, so that's how it is. Oh, I'm so sorry, Scott. I shouldn't have scolded you. <laughs> I apologize. Huh. It's okay, Dad. Because you're the best. I guess the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. It seems his most twisted desires aren't here. Scott Sr., you're suspected of accepting a huge bribe. Now come with us. Ah, the old guy got caught! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I knew this day would eventually come. <laughs> I only have one question, Captain. <laughs> Who sold me out? An internal tip-off. We're not allowed to disclose any details. An internal tip-off. Most of those involved have neither the motive nor the evidence. Who could it be? It was me, Dad. I turned you in. You? Scott? You're the one who turned me in? Oh, man! This guy is heartless! The old guy looks like he's about to cry! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Proud? Dad. Use me as a stepping stone to reach greater heights. 
Lyndon Scott, you are the pride of the Scott family. A true lone wolf. And your dad is so proud of you. I'll do as you've taught me, father. Oh, jeez, this guy is simply hopeless. His most twisted desires aren't here at all. Hey, Scott. My best buddy. I'm getting transferred to the Tartarian. Let's grab a drink after work. This guy actually has friends? <sighs> Maybe I can find something here that'll make him change his ways. The Tartarian? That's the Frontier Fortification Vessel, isn't it? You haven't slipped up at work lately, have you? <laughs> so it was you who meddled and got me transferred, right? Uh, no one else on our team has the skill to pull something like this off. <laughs> Come on! Why am I not surprised at all? It couldn't be helped. Your position was so desirable, I had to make a move. It's not just about the position, is it? There's also Rakshmi. <laughs> no one will ever compete with you for her again. Raxby? Glimpsing a faint green light through the thick fog. Could it be that Raxby is the love of Scott's life? Please, promise me that you'll treat her well. <sighs> of course, Ashavat. Go to the Tartarian without worries. I'll take care of her while you're away. Seems like his most twisted desires are not here, either. How long have we known each other, Scott? Around seven or eight years. Why? We've been working together for so long, and... I just realized our hometowns are so close to each other. <laughs> Talk about a coincidence. Yeah, we never get a chance to talk about this stuff at the office. Oh, I didn't realize Scott was actually a scumbag with a pure heart. All these years, there's something I've been keeping to myself. Too afraid to tell you. You like me, don't you? Uh, why are you being so blunt? Oh, well done, Scott. <laughs> I like your straightforward style. Yeah. I want to be your girlfriend, Scott. <laughs> gotcha, Scott. Ooh, I found your weakness. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha off guard. Wait, what? what? I recorded everything! You know office romances are strictly forbidden in our department. Once I make this recording public, you'll never be able to compete with me for the specialist position. <laughs> what the? Well... <laughs> All right. That's exactly what I love about you, Scott. What the heck? I'll step aside for you. But when the day comes that I surpass you in the same manner, I hope you'll acknowledge my intentions. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm a lone wolf, remember? Oh, he's such a jerk! Is that a wolf? Wait... No, that must be Scott himself! The crown behind him must be his most twisted desire. Oh, finally I found the depths of your hopeless soul. 
I'll strip away your twisted desires. Who are you? This is my place. How did you get in here? I can come and go as I please. Do I need your permission? Let me tell you something. In your quest to reach the top, you've trampled over everything that's decent. It's all about success. I'm the pride of the Scott family, a certified lone wolf. I'll do whatever it takes to reach the pinnacle of life. But are you truly happy? You've sacrificed your family, your friends, and your love. All for those meaningless credits. Ask yourself, are you truly happy? Uh, uh, am I happy? Am I truly happy? I... Oh, I'm so happy! I'm ecstatic! You couldn't even begin to imagine how happy I am! Sacrificing my emotions? Ha! Huh, what a joke! What good do my emotions do me? Can they turn into a delicious meal or a glass of wine? Can they pilot a starship? Or buy me a mansion? So, answer me this. Do you think anyone would pay credits for my emotions? No way. But I can trade my credits for emotions. With enough credits, I can make anyone my friend. <sighs> this man is truly hopeless. Maybe I need to try a different approach this time. But I'm not about to spend my hard-earned credits on something as pointless as emotions. I'm a lone wolf. A lone wolf from the Scott family, with no enemies or friends, only prey! <laughs> Bring it on, Scott the Lone Wolf. I'll show you what I'm made of. Made to be broken. What's in your prescription? Existence is unity. Fight to live! <laughs> Fight to live! swung her sword, and something green entered your body. Then you froze and started muttering something. Are you okay? Hey! March 7th! What did you do to Specialist Scott? Me? I didn't do anything. Seriously. Mr. Tail, what... What did you do to Scott? Come on, what are you thinking? I just stripped away his most twisted desire. Watch what's about to happen. <laughs> oh, Scott seems weird. Did you really make him change his ways, Mr. Tail? Well, this is my first time doing something like this, so... I'm not sure how things will turn out. You've managed to make a guy like him turn over a new leaf. You're amazing, Mr. Tail. <laughs> I'm even more amazing than you think. Look, it's kicking in now. Oh. The specialist Scott, what's wrong with you? Specialist 
God, snap out of it! What have you done to him, Mr. Tail? I removed his twisted desires, and now he's genuinely trying to become a lone wolf. <laughs> Yeah, you'd ought to remember it's best not to make an enemy out of Fuahua. Sarcastic with me? Huh? <laughs> what are you writing, March? I'm writing a letter to the Astral Express. It's been a while, and I thought I should let them know that I'm safe and sound here. You know that poem from the Sienjo, right? We like March. Her shoes are purple. She is new and high. March, I don't think that poem is about you. Huh? Writing a letter just to let the crew know you're doing all right? Do you guys not have phones? That lacks a sense of propriety. I'm not just writing a letter. I'm writing a handwritten letter. I've got to show them I'm really on the Sienjo. You should also tell them about our glorious victory. I didn't skip work to watch you write a letter. Come on. Let's play Celestial Jade together. Hurry up. Hurry up! Just give me a sec. I'll play with you once I'm done. Uh, dear Himeko, Mr. Yang, and Pom Pom, we're all good here on the Sienjo La Fu, so no need to worry. By the way, how's your trip going?
Yes. Let's go get one after training! <laughs> 